morning, everyone. As always, place your cross on first, no matter what's going on in your life. You know, if you live for Christ, live for him. Do you understand? Live for him. You know, uh, before I get started, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I read a little snippet from Job this morning. I was going to read all of it, but I had a voice that felt like he said, hey, just go. Just go today. All right. But I read a snippet of from Job 41, I think. It was like God was telling Job, gird up yourself like a man. Answer about me. You know, one thing we realize as men and women that we know nothing truly when it comes to God. God knows all, sees all, hears all. He knows what's best for us. So Job wanted an audience with God so bad, you understand, not knowing that God didn't have to answer none of his questions. He did. He really didn't. He just told him about things he didn't know, to know nothing about. You know, sometimes we think we know. We ask for a present uh, 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 audience with the Lord. But you got to be careful with that. Let me tell you something. He'll, he'll, get, he'll show you his presence. He'll even answer your questions. You understand? May not be how you want it. But it's going to make sense. In the end, you know, Joel repented after that, you know. It's not that Joel was doing too much bad. He was righteous. He was a good person. He was just going through some hard times. And he felt that he knew a little bit more. He wanted some answers. You know, God was talking about judgment and everything with him. Then he started talking about things that he don't know nothing about. You see, the thing about this world we live in, people, there are so many books out there. There are so many things that you can learn and still don't know nothing. Still don't. You know there are parts of the ocean that have yet to been explored. You know scientists only know what they can see. And the thing is, scientists have not seen anything. They've not seen everything. They have not. It's all mostly theories and hypotheses. That's it. You know man trying to go to the moon. You see Elon Musk having problems with that. Trying to know things they don't know not, nothing about. You understand? And I was telling somebody about this. I said, it's either two things normally happen when somebody try to go into space. You only get two options. If you send a being to, you either they're going to live or they're going to die. You understand? And I try to ask the question, why haven't people been back to the moon more often? Like, there's a lot of questions I ask, like, that don't make sense. Okay, you put man on the moon way back in the day. Right, but you don't really see nothing about it no more. This questions I just like I want to know answers about that. If you say you did it, why you ain't did it again? And why is it not broadcasted? What's what's really going on? You understand? Science don't know everything. They don't. You send people into dark waters when you start digging deep in the earth and going deep into space. You send people to uncharted territories. You understand? And we live in a world everybody's trying to find another place to go. Like, most people don't believe in God. Yeah, they're going to look for somewhere else. They're going to look for a new heaven and a new earth on their own. Yeah, we're supposed to look for new heavens and new earth. According to scriptural, a new place for us, a new dwelling place for believers. But people don't believe. They look for new dwelling places elsewhere. What are they trying to escape from? Hmm. Think about it now. You see, and the thing is, when you really do the math, man, with these people, they ain't going to be for poor folks. Anybody's just going to be able to buy, buy a ticket to go into outer space or to travel outside of orbit. You got to think about who they marketing to, who they really trying to save. Not the poor in spirit, the rich. You understand? Everything they do, they do something. They got an agenda. Let's put it this way. God has an agenda too. We're not going to figure out what his agenda is, but we do know if one of his agendas is to separate the real from the fake, the good from the bad, the evil from the good. 
Do you understand? That's his main goal. Our main goal is to live for God. Have you read Psalm 71? Basically, what David, the psalmist, is talking about, like, dwelling in the house of the Lord forever. Don't let me go down to earth till I have sold your love and your power to the generation to come. I will sing songs to the Lord. Our whole purpose in life is to serve God. Serve the one true God, people. I was watching Thor and Love and Thunder. I love Thor and Love and I love Marvel type characters. And I see truth in a lot of things in plain sight. Did you see the deities? Did you read between the lines what they were talking about up there? They had Zeus up there telling Thor, you won't be invited to the origin. Wow, they, these gods huh? sound like fallen angels, a bunch of freaks. But people sex crazed, power hungry, don't care about nobody else but themselves. I wonder why. That's, they show you their character. They want to be worshipped. For what? I guess Thor is different. But he's still the same. Want to be worshipped. There are gods that are not gods. You understand? I believe in them. People don't understand this. I believe in all the deities. I really do. I, believe, I know what they are. They are fallen ones. They claim they're gods. You understand? Claim they're gods. Claim they are gods. Hmm. You know who Zeus' father is? Kronos. Kronos had a father too. Look at that. Some, some, somebody had to create them. I remember years ago I had a dream. I don't know how real it was. I don't know if it meant anything, but... I had a dream there were giants in the earth. And then there was another, some more beings after the giants. Then there were some other beings. Then there were us. Well, the Bible talks about renowned things. You understand? People are renowned. Strong men back in the day. The Bible talks about a lot of things. It don't go in detail about it. You know, the Nephilim. It talks about a lot of things. God give us little snippets about different things. Even in the book of Enoch, they talk about some things that sound like straight out of a comic book. But there's certain things I don't think God wants us to know. And that's cool. Do you want to know everything? You see what happened with Job? When God starts spilling, the, spilling some of the things, some of the hidden secrets that he don't know about, Job doesn't know what to do but repent. It was too much for me. You see, a lot of y'all seeking knowledge. It's too much for you. I'm telling you. Okay, let's say you get to the point where you believe in these all these other deities. Now you're gonna start trying to seek presence with them. I'm just trying to tell y'all something to warn you. Some of y'all knowledge is not gonna be just enough. You're gonna have to feel it and see it. Let me pause and I will continue.